when we look out over the oceans, we're looking out at a veneer. We're just seeing the surface. We're seeing a reflection of the sky. The first few molecules on top. And then the first time you put on a mask and put your head underwater, it's like there's a whole huge world of adventure out there. The first time I saw the ocean, I just felt life was endless. My name is Luis Ahoyas. I'm the executive director of the Oceanic Preservation Society. The Oceanic Preservation Society is a nonprofit business. We're, our goal is to make films that inspire people to save the oceans. What we're trying to do is make the invisible visible and make the world that nobody's listening to be heard. Our first film was a film called The Cove. And award goes to... The Cove. The Cove. That film became the most winning documentary in history. It won 70 film awards from Sundance to the Academy Award. Thanks so much. Uh, the Cove is... Uh... It's not just about the cove, it's about what we're doing to our oceans. But more importantly, the film is helping to save dolphins. When we started that film, they were killing about 23,000 dolphins every year in Japan, dolphins and porpoises. And since the film has come out, we've got that number down to less than 65% of what it was. You know, that was sort of the conceit all along, is that a film could influence lives, it could change culture, and it's done its work. And I thought, well, this, that's a pretty cool feather in our cap, but let's tackle a really big story, the biggest story that there is in the world. So right then, really the idea came to me for the second movie called Racing Extinction. What's going on is we're losing about half the species on the planet by the end of the century. There's been five major extinctions in the history of the planet. We're going through a sixth one right now. Humankind is having a, such a profound effect on the planet that we're now changing the fossil record of the future. And we're now changing the chemistry of the oceans at such a vast scale. They're talking about mid-century, there be just remnants of coral reefs left. And that to me is like losing everything that's beautiful about the planet in one go. We're at a juncture where we can't afford to just watch. 